Hey teachers, Mr. Vickery here, and in this video we're going to talk about organizing your course using course modules. I'm going to show you a couple different ways to use course modules to organize your course content. Start by clicking on modules. I'm going to click the button create a new module. I'm going to call this one electron configurations add the module. Just to explain a little bit about how a module works, if I click the gear, sorry, click the add button, I can add assignments, quizzes, files like Word documents and PDFs, content pages, discussions, text headers, and links to external websites. I have some things preloaded that I'm going to add to this module. I created an assignment called Orbital Notation Activity. I'm going to add that to the module. I'm going to continue to add things that I've created in Canvas. I have an activity called Build an Atom. I'm going to add that one too. I also have a quiz. So if I select Quiz, and select electron configurations. There's also a file that I need to add to this. It's called Orbital Notation PowerPoint Activity. Think of the module as like your unit or chapter or whatever topic you're teaching. These are the four activities that the students are going to complete. I can rearrange these by clicking and dragging into different areas. Notice up here that the module has not been published. The students will not be able to see this module until you hit this publish button. I can also choose to unpublish different sections of the module. Just remember to publish them when you're ready to let the students do the activity. Within the module I can set different parameters. By clicking the gear, clicking edit, I can add requirements such as students must complete all the requirements. So orbital notation PowerPoint, all they can do is view the item. But on the quiz, I can set it to where they have to score at least 4 out of 5 before they can move on. I can even check the box, students must move the through the requirements in sequential order. But as you can see, I can play around with the different um, settings on the module to ensure that the students do what they're supposed to. Once you've finished adding requirements, you can update the module. Just remember that these activities had to be built prior to building the module. If I want to add an activity on the fly, I can choose the Add button click New Assignment, name it something, add the item. Now when I select the item, I can go in and build the assignment. A second way to use modules is to organize each day of your activities using pages. So if I add a new module, and call it stoichiometry, it's a chemistry term, and add different pages. I have different days set up I have six days for my stoichiometry unit. If I click day one 
this is the day's events that were going to take place. Day two consists of different things with hyperlinks to different activities and assignments that I've built in Canvas. So this is just another way to use modules in order to set up your course for easy navigation. Some people prefer units, others prefer setting it up in days. You could also input quizzes and things within the module under stoichiometry. Let me know if you have any questions and have a great day.